We are looking at issues that bring us together. It's not about individuals, it's about our country. The issues remain very blaring for all of us. And uh, the campaign teams from both sides appreciate that there are values and there are issues. And they need to be tackled as we go towards March 4th. And uh, what Ronnie is saying is that between now and March 4th, we are seeing of how we can work together, how we can work together towards giving Kenyans the widest choice to elect from, because Kenyans deserve to have the best choice. Kenya deserves to have the best. And I think that's what we are looking at. That's why we are together. We have shared values. And I've said that both campaign teams have realized the need to work together. That's what we are looking at. And this is a series of meetings. And we have said it's not about individuals, it's about our country. And we need Kenya to have the best. What I can tell you is that um, it has to be about the Kenyans. It has to be about the youth of this country. It is not about the leaders of this country because we are a country which is under threat of being very polarized. As we go into this election, we could be more polarized than we were in 2007. That's a risk that we're facing. Yet, the real problems that we need to be sorting out is the problem of youth unemployment, for example, is the problem of security, which is connected to youth unemployment. It is the problem of poverty, which is also connected to youth unemployment. Those are the issues that bring us together. Unfortunately, in the political discourse that we are having at the moment, it is mainly a discourse that is based on tribal alliances, ethnic alliances, and Myself and Peter believe that that is not going to help this country in the long run. It could win tribal votes, making them very, very significant blocks as tribal votes. But the real problem of this country is about you and I, not about the ambitions of individuals. Yeah? Thank you.